from Mike Malloy website Donald Jr., Don of Brazil, The Michael Flynn's, Jeff Sessions, Paradise Papers, Mark Zuckerberg, Yuri Milner, Vlad Putin, Wilbur Ross, Big Polly Manafort, Rand Paul, Jared Kushner, Dot and another horrific mass murder of innocents ages 18 months to 77 years. Where, to begin maybe with a note about Trump fatigue. It's part exhaustion from the non-stop, head-spinning despicable acts this psychopath hurls at us like a manic supervillain. And also the demoralizing realization that the only weapon that can slay this tangerine dragon is useless. Short of shipping him to Leavenworth, there is only one tonic to neutralize this homegrown terrorist, and that is to ignore him completely. Trump is now the most famous person in the world, according to international polling statistics and data research. Global fame and domination drove this fanatic's obsession and we carried him over the goalposts. It's the worst possible catch-22. Mention his name and you feed the beast, but you cannot have a political discussion about any topic, from taxes to education to infrastructure or climate change, gun safety, police brutality, healthcare, the opioid epidemic, the economy, the death penalty, LGBT rights, veterans affairs and all of foreign policy. There is no way to have those conversations without discussing the madman leader of the free world. That disturbing reality is the new normal, the bizarro world of alternate facts. It's the backdrop to the other Trump affect the use of his psychotic superpowers for evil. We can't catch our breath, every day he tosses a fresh thunderbolt I like people who weren't captured, bam Obama tapped my phones, wham neo-Nazis that killed that Antifa brought are very fine people, kapow that gold star widow, was her name, she's a liar, boom hey deadbeat wetbacks, catch you can soak up that flood water with this pack of bounty, soak adrenal fatigue level exhausting. It's no wonder we barely register a reaction to the Paradise Papers blockbuster release Monday. It appears that Mark Zuckerberg literally formed a business partnership with a Putin-connected Russian tech baron, Yuri Milner. Jared Kushner was the latest Trumpster to recover from Russian amnesia, suddenly recalling yet another 75 business holdings he forgot to disclose. One of these is Kadri, a company he co-founded with his brother that happens to be linked to wait for it, Yuri Milner. Then there is Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross, Rachel Maddow had the goods on Ross back in February, and now we know the details of his association with an infamous Cyprus bank known for Russian money laundering. Not enough okay, seems Mueller has enough evidence to indict both Daddy Flynn and crazy baby boy Flynn, and Michael Sr. was involved in James Bandesk paid international kidnapping and assassination espionage involving the Turkish government. Yes, our confirmed national security director was literally a paid foreign agent. And then there was the Donna Brazil bombshell, the Rand Paul front yard attack and the mass murder Sunday in a Baptist church in Sutherland Springs, Texas, killing 28 people so far. Within hours of that massacre, right-wing websites were shamelessly exploiting the tragedy for personal gain by spreading Trumpian fake news about the shooter. One common theme was that the shooter was connected to the Antifa movement and was shouting about communism as he shot at the helpless congregation. Sick. And finally, consider this three of the, the worst five mass shootings in U.S. history took place in the last 18 months. And yet again, members of Congress stood in front of the telescreens and defended their loyalty to guns over human beings. And it's only Tuesday, www.mcmalloy.com Kathy never expected a career in radio as a talk show producer. Born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, Kathy was completing her nursing degree when in 2001 in an emergency she was asked to fill in as the producer of Mike's program. Within a few more, the views expressed in this article are the sole responsibility of the author and do not necessarily reflect those of this website or its editors.